Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of the OC Show. This is episode 8. Uh, next to me we have Tim, my name is Peter. And first of all, once again, we, want, we need to remind you about the Q&A, right? Yeah, so like every show, um, so we're going to go through a few topics today, but uh, in a few days on, on Monday or Sunday evening in the US. We're going to have a live Q&A on Twitch and you guys can ask us questions related to those topics and we're going to have a few guests. Uh, with us to go through the news of the last weeks. When I was checking the paper you were writing the entire rundown of the show, I also saw giveaways. Now, tell me more. Uh, so we have um, we have some giveaways. Uh, the first thing is a t-shirt, uh, the Hardware Terminator t-shirt, ah, okay. which is uh, the one you could uh, order actually if you were making a donation for the, um, the contest. Um, what was the name? Durkin Memorial the Durkin, Challenge. Yeah, that's right. And um, so we have one of the t-shirts to, to give away and we also have a, a graphics card from Asus that we didn't give away during our last stream uh, from the ROG um, uh, camp in Germany. So that's a GTX 960 and we're going to, be going to announce during the live Q&A on Sunday at 9pm Eastern Time how you guys can actually win that one. So we're back from our very long trip through Europe. In fact, I think we were away for about 20 days and we visited three overclocking events in total. The first one was the World Tour at the Gamers Assembly, which was uh, organized by us and a couple of extra people helping us, like Isai, uh, Amy as well, and then a bunch of volunteers helping out at the workshop uh, at, the, at the event. Mm -hmm. It was a pretty exciting event. We had about 100 people joining in the, in the workshop and then 20 extreme overclockers also joining for the more, you know, the, the LN2 part. Uh, yeah. I think we used about 2,200 liters of the 3,000 liters that were available. So it, it was a pretty pretty big success. Yeah, and a couple of guys right were happy so they could go home with a Dior field. So yeah, and we actually noticed that the, the, the guys who, uh, who, who got to the final of the workshop they already started participating in the Rookie Rumbles as well. They bought the gears, that are the, the, the equipment that they still needed to yeah. build their bench system and just start diving into the overclocking action straight, straight away. Uh, the second event was in Germany, it was the weekend after the World Tour, um, where we visited uh, Der Bauer and uh, Tom Losk from PC Games Hardware on the ROG uh, OC Camp. 2015, yeah. which was a smaller venue. It was uh, uh, eight people. Sorry, ten people. Uh, ten, yeah, ten. Uh, eight overclockers. But if you count organizers, <laughs> that's ten. <laughs> Correct. Eight <laughs> overclockers who'd never done LN2 before, who were introduced to the practice of how to do liquid nitrogen overclocking. Interesting tidbit: seven out of the eight overclockers attending this 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 camp, where they for the first time got to know how LN2 works. Yeah bought CPU pots at that event as well. So seven out of eight already decided, yes, I'm, to going, go to, I'm going to continue this, this fabulous hobby in the future. So the last event that we attended was in the UK, in Cambridge to be precise, and it was the MSI OC uh, Academy. Yeah, so that event uh, was organized by the guys from Team GB. So uh, mainly uh, Hivisman was behind the scenes uh, organizing everything. And uh, they did a great job actually. Uh, they booked a, a big venue, which was a, a pub, uh, right in the city center of Cambridge and they were hosting their uh, DLC Academy um, which was based on uh, something that already started uh, in different countries in Europe and the, the, the idea is to same as the ROG can, can teach people uh, about how to bench on the LN2 so they had a, a workshop where they were explaining you know uh, how to use liquid nitrogen wh what is liquid nitrogen how to use it safely uh, very similar to actually the certification things we have for the, the world tour stops and um, they were also teaching them how to insulate the motherboards for liquid nitrogen uh, the different techniques that exist uh, liquid tape or uh, the eraser and then they had a competition for those guys in a quite a different way that what we saw at the, the, the other events. So instead of having a uh, everyone versus everyone style competition, this was more like a one versus one battle thing. And uh, interestingly, they also had um, guest overclockers that could compete uh, against the new LN2 overclockers. So you were one of them. And how did that go for you? Well, it did not go that, that well. <laughs> I, I lost in the first round. In, in, in my defense, I lost to the person who eventually 
won the competition. So obviously, I was completely out out overclocked by yeah. by his skill. Yeah. So most of those guys never had done LN2 before. So I think only some of them had done a bit of dry ice or like some chilled water kind of thing, but never had done LN2 before. And it was actually very interesting that um, there they could uh, they could go the whole way from experiencing uh, how to insulate and then compete against top people or like people that were very experienced. So the benchmarks for that competition was mainly XTU from uh, what I saw and only for the the last rounds it was a Cinebench, right? And yep, in correct. the end, um, yeah, I can't remember exactly the name of the winner. Nicole P, 1978, my, yes. my, my nemesis from now on forward, my arch enemy. <laughs> we will meet again yeah. someday. So, so you, you were there, you competed, it didn't went well, but what did you thought about the, the event in general? It was a pretty cool event. I, I really liked the venue because it was in a, in a very nice pub, very nice atmosphere as well. Um, the competition was pretty interesting as well. It was a one versus one. And we see this happening more and more on competition events mm -hmm. where... The, the organizers step away from the typical everyone versus everyone, as you mentioned yeah. before, to a one versus one. Um, the rounds itself were one hour, which is a um, very intense time limit because you have one hour to completely insulate the system and start pre-testing as well. So you need to know very well what you're doing and what, what your steps are in the overclocking process. Yeah. So all in all, I think it was a very nice event. Yeah, especially I guess if you want to uh, re-insulate the boards in between the rounds. It's not and possible. Everything. Not possible. Not possible. <laughs> I've yeah. been there. Not possible. <laughs> All right. So that was the the event in the UK, and then uh, what's going on on the OC esports sites since we are talking about competitions? So obviously we started a new round or a new batch of Rookie Rumbles and Novice Nimbles. The current uh, Rookie Rumble number seventeen is finishing um, this weekend. This weekend, yeah, by by Saturday. And the Novice Nimble is uh, going on a little bit longer till the end of the next Rookie Rumble. Mm. Um, so, yeah, we see that the Novice Nimble was the first time um, was the, the number one. This is yeah. the number two. And we tried to get some feedback from the guys who participated in the teams. And in, in, a, in, a, in a way, the, the feedback is pretty positive, um, largely because at least the, the forum administrators or the ca team captains were saying that the Novice Nimble kind of kick-started a discussion on their forum as well. Yeah. Novice is asking, okay, how can we t tweak this benchmark? How can we tune this this system to get better better uh, scores and more points? Yeah, especially the hardware.info team is having uh, forum threads. I'm sure Cockerland has some yeah. as well. So the the teams are organizing themselves, and you can clearly see that the two most organized teams are actually at the top of the yeah. ranking right now. So first, currently, you have Hardware.info, uh, second, Cockatland, and then you have Vodedown Hardware Legend OC, which is a team from Italy. Italy, yeah. So very interesting competition. It's very exciting to see these new novices trying to figure out how to be most... Co competitive in this kind of an online overclocking competition. Uh, since uh, the result is calculated on the average of the top scores of the three best scores for each round well, or for each stage, well, you need to help out your mates and your team. It's not about just you and your big score. The competition was designed specifically for that, to encourage teamwork, to encourage the more social aspect mm -hmm. of, of uh, competitive overclocking. Okay, so moving on to the extreme guys, there's some competition for those guys as well. So there's the ROG Extreme, uh, ROG OC Showdown round Extreme, two. round two, and the Gigabyte X99 Champion Challenge. Okay. Tell me more. So the, for the ROG uh, Extreme, there's um, three benchmarks. It's main, uh, so it's uh, all about um, Max Mem, you have uh, Fire Strike Physics, and um, the other one is... Is 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 is. I wrote it down, but I wrote it. Unigen Heaven. Unigen Heaven. That's it. Extreme. <laughs> <laughs> I know there was something extreme, but I couldn't remember which one. So for these competitions, there's of course some cash to win. Uh, for the Asus one, there's about one thousand US dollars of uh, cash for LN2. That's how they called it. And there's also uh, hardware prizes from their uh, competition partners. So there's some CPUs from Intel. You have of course some Asus motherboards and graphics cards. Uh, you have some memory from G-Skill, you have some CPU pods from Debauer and some PSUs from Enermax. So wow. uh, quite a lot of stuff to win actually. It's um, probably a um, very good thing to compete because all those competitions also have um, lucky draws for people that participated in all the stages. So even though you think you cannot reach, it's always fun to just get into it and eventually push a little bit further. 
and but if you're looking for a if you're looking for a cash prize, you have to go to the Gigabyte X99. Challenge yeah, this one the cash prize is slightly higher, and we are two thousand six hundred. Two thousand eight hundred. Eight hundred US dollars. dollars yeah. Yes. So for this one, you have to compete with the X99 Champion board. No, just a Gigabyte X99 okay. in general. So, so all X99 any. boards, yeah. even the UD5 or all yeah. the different ones. Okay. And this one again, three benchmarks or more. There's about six stages. Okay. So three of the stages are XTU, okay. where you have to uh, push your uh, six core or your eight core CPU as high as possible. The, the, the points um, for XTU are based on the amount, uh, the score per course. So it's equal and fair ground for both six cores and eight cores. And then the three other stages are a uh, low end uh, graphics Oh, okay. Cart. So that's a stage limited to the GT730, right? Yeah, so it's limited to a, a very uh, low-end graphics card to make sure that the, 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 the benchmark is entirely limited by the graphics card mm -hmm. itself. So you have to show your skill, figure out the hardware modifications. Yeah. If you're really good, solder on a power board or something like that. Okay, and for that one, so the three benchmark, you have Firestrike, Godzilla 720p, and um, the last one. <laughs> I'm always better than us on 3 Mark 1. Yes, of course, 3 Mark 1. <laughs> <laughs> so that's about it for the competitions, I think. There's uh, no other competition besides the one that was still going on. What is the, what was the um, hardware, the old school is best school and the other series that are going on. So if you guys have old hardware, you might want to check those ones out as well. Also, the Road to Pro Challenger division start again from May 1st as well. Ooh, a lot of other competitions, and we are about to probably eventually ship the prizes for the winners of the oh, first round. Eh? Right, yes. We have we some will. cool stuff there. Speaking of very cool stuff, we have something else to announce as well. In uh, the weekend uh, mm -hmm. following Computex, there is a last stop of the HW World Tour 2015 uh, at the Maker Bar, and we have some uh, nice partners lined up. Indeed, indeed. So um, for this stop, uh, we've got uh, contacted by the guys from uh, Asus and HyperX um, along with uh, Seasonic. So they wanted to do something all together and we said, yeah, why not? That's a good idea. And uh, actually Computex is usually uh, the place where all the top guys are coming every year, kind of like the pilgrimage of the overclockers, I would say. So there is going to be 30 seats this year available, so slightly more than last year. We are stretching out the Maker Bar venue. Um, there will be, uh, of course, um, free benching, like I mean, like as an open benching, you can come with your hardware, you bench whatever you want. And there's also going to be a World Tour, uh, World Series competition, uh, same as for the other stops, probably similar rules as well. And there will be uh, something called the uh, ROGOC Showdown area, which we haven't disclosed yet the information too much about how that works. No, but it's, uh, it is announced that there will be hardware and cash prizes at the event. Um, also, we have, to, well, we have to say that uh, more than a third of the tickets are already sold out. Yes. We opened the ticket sales two days ago or something. Um, so, yeah. You guys should better hurry up if, if you want to attend. Hurry up. <laughs> and uh, there's one more thing we should mention about that event is that it's, of course, going to be live stream. So ah, if you yes. guys, you know, can't go to Computex, well, you should probably tune in on the live stream because uh, like last year and like for the other streams, we're going to have some some prizes to give away on the stream and some cool stuff and some discussion. I also hear Leekhoft or Dia Leekhoft from Belgium is going to be part of the casting crew. I so might tune out then in that case. If <laughs> so yeah, it's going to be some quite interesting stuff. <laughs> All right, so see you at Computex and uh, see you at the Q&A for sure. Yeah, so Q&A, guys, remember, it's Sunday evening in the US, 9 p.m. That's going to be 10 a.m. GMT plus 8 here on the Monday uh, on the Taiwan-Hong Kong time zone. And if you're in Europe, that's going to be around 3 a.m. if you're in Central Europe or 2 a.m. if you're in uh, Great Britain. And don't forget, we're going to have a special guest, Scaf Bond from Player, that is going to be with us. He participated in the competition at the MSIOC Academy in, in uh, Cambridge and he will be giving us his take on the competition. Plus, there's giveaways, so giveaways. make sure you tune in. Alright, bye, yeah. till the next time.